When you think of Vikings, what comes to mind? Perhaps images of fearless warriors wielding axes, standing tall with flowing blonde hair, or setting sail on sleek, dragon-headed ships come to mind. These Norse adventurers, immortalized in popular culture and legend, are often depicted as a homogeneous group, genetically pure, united in appearance, and unmistakably Scandinavian. But what if I told you that much of this is a myth? Recent breakthroughs in DNA research are revealing a radically different picture of Viking life, culture, and identity. These ancient seafarers were far more diverse than the stereotypes suggest. Through the largest ever study of Viking DNA, researchers have uncovered a hidden world of complexity, showing us not just who the Vikings were, but how they lived, where they ventured, and even what they looked like. Imagine discovering that the iconic Viking traits, blonde hair, piercing blue eyes, and purely Scandinavian roots, were the exception rather than the rule. What if the Viking Age itself was shaped as much by outsiders as by those we think of as Vikings? These are just a few of the startling truths uncovered by analyzing the genomes of 442 skeletons from Viking sites scattered across Europe and Greenland. But the story doesn't stop there. The very definition of what it meant to be a Viking is being challenged. Some individuals who embraced Viking culture and were buried with Viking artifacts weren't Scandinavian at all. Others returned to Scandinavia after years abroad, bringing with them new genetic and cultural influences that would reshape their homeland. So, who were the Vikings? How did they become such a powerful force in history? And what can their DNA tell us about the world they lived in? Stick around as we dive into the fascinating revelations that are rewriting everything we thought we knew about the past. Four centuries. The image of the Viking has been larger than life. Towering, blonde-haired warriors with ice-blue eyes and stoic expressions have dominated our imagination. But groundbreaking research into Viking DNA has shattered this myth, revealing a far more complex story about who they really were. One of the most surprising discoveries is that the Vikings were not a genetically pure group confined to Scandinavia. Instead, they were a melting pot of ancestries. DNA analysis shows that Viking populations were shaped by migrations from Southern Europe, Eastern Europe, and even Western Asia. This diversity is not just an interesting footnote. It challenges the very idea of what it meant to be a Viking. Esk Willislev, a leading geneticist, points out that Vikings were rarely 100% Viking genetically. In fact, they were often a blend of various ancestries. Take, for instance, individuals with dark hair and eyes. Contrary to the popular image of fair-haired Scandinavians, many Vikings had these features. It turns out that the Vikings living in Scandinavia a thousand years ago were far less Scandinavian than the populations living there today. And it wasn't just about appearance. The Viking identity extended far beyond genetics. Some people adopted Viking culture without being of Scandinavian origin. For example, graves in Scotland's Orkney Islands contained individuals buried with Viking grave goods yet their DNA traced back to the Picts, an indigenous people of Scotland. These individuals weren't ethnically Viking, but they had embraced Viking culture so completely that they were laid to rest in traditional Viking fashion. This blending of cultures wasn't limited to Scotland. Throughout Europe, the Vikings left their mark, but they also took pieces of the cultures they encountered back home with them. The DNA evidence makes it clear. The Viking Age wasn't just about conquest and raiding. It was also about integration trade, and cultural exchange. This complexity forces us to reconsider our assumptions. Vikings weren't a monolithic group of Norsemen. They were a dynamic, diverse people whose influence stretched across continents and whose identities were as fluid as the seas they sailed. The Vikings weren't just fierce raiders. They were explorers, traders, and settlers who left their mark on almost every corner of Europe. But where exactly did they go? And how did they influence the regions they touched? One of the most intriguing discoveries from Viking DNA studies is the clear distinction in where Viking groups traveled. Vikings from Norway, for example, ventured westward. They sailed to Iceland, Greenland, and even North America, centuries before Columbus. Norwegian Vikings also settled in Ireland, leaving genetic traces that persist in the Irish population to this day. Meanwhile, Swedish Vikings headed eastward. They navigated the rivers of modern-day Russia, Ukraine, and the Baltic states, creating vital trade routes that connected Scandinavia to the Byzantine Empire and beyond. These Eastern Vikings, often called the Varangians, were not just traders but also mercenaries, with some even serving in the elite Varangian guard of the Byzantine Emperor. 
On the other hand, Danish Vikings focused their efforts on England. Their raids turned into full-scale invasions, and eventually, they established the Dane Law, a region of England under Viking control. This group left such a strong genetic and cultural imprint that even today, many people in northern England carry Scandinavian ancestry. But it wasn't just about where the Vikings went, it was also about what they brought with them. When Vikings settled in new lands, they didn't remain isolated. Instead, they mixed with local populations, creating a unique blend of cultures and genetic traits. In places like Britain and Ireland, this intermingling produced communities that were both Viking and local, blending traditions, languages, and even religions. And the movement wasn't one way. Some Vikings returned to Scandinavia after years abroad, bringing back more than just plunder. They introduced new genetic traits, cultural practices, and even people. This constant exchange between Scandinavia and the lands the Vikings reached helped shape the Viking world into something far more interconnected than we ever imagined. These migrations and interactions highlight one of the most remarkable aspects of the Viking Age, its vast scale. The Vikings didn't just raid and leave, they settled, integrated, and adapted to the regions they explored, leaving a lasting impact that still resonates in the DNA of modern populations. If you want to understand how the Vikings lived, and died, their burial sites offer a treasure trove of clues. From Scotland to Estonia, these graves tell stories of their travels, battles, and even their beliefs about the afterlife. But more than that, they reveal the personal and emotional sides of Viking life, often overshadowed by their reputation as ruthless raiders. One of the most fascinating discoveries comes from the Psalm ship burials in Estonia. These graves, dating back to before the Viking Age, tell a story of Scandinavian warriors who embarked on a journey that ended in tragedy. Two ships, one smaller and one much larger, were unearthed on the island of Saramaa. Inside, archaeologists found the remains of dozens of men, carefully buried with their weapons, shields, and even gaming pieces. What makes this find so significant is how it rewrites the timeline of Viking history. The Psalm burials predate the traditional start of the Viking Age in 793 AD suggesting that Scandinavians were organizing war parties and venturing far beyond their homelands long before the infamous raid on Lindisfarne. DNA analysis of the Psalm warriors revealed something even more remarkable. Many of the men were related, some even brothers. This discovery challenges the common image of Viking raiding parties as a gathering of the strongest warriors from a settlement. Instead, it seems that these early expeditions were often family affairs, with fathers, sons, and brothers fighting and dying, side by side. Scotland's Orkney Islands offer another fascinating glimpse into Viking burials. Graves there included individuals buried with traditional Viking artifacts, such as swords and shields, yet DNA analysis showed that they weren't Scandinavian at all. These people, genetically linked to the Picts of Scotland, had adopted Viking culture so fully that they were buried as Vikings. It's a striking example of how cultural identity could transcend genetic ancestry. But not all Viking burials were grand or ceremonial. Mass graves like the one at Ridgeway Hill in England paint a darker picture of Viking life. This site contains the remains of nearly 50 decapitated men, believed to be Viking warriors captured and executed during a failed raid. Their DNA tells us they were Scandinavians, but their grim fate reminds us that not all Viking ventures ended in glory. Together, these burial sites offer a nuanced view of Viking life. They weren't just raiders. They were fathers, sons, and brothers. They formed close-knit communities that sometimes traveled thousands of miles together, and they were willing to embrace and adapt to the cultures they encountered, blurring the lines between Viking and non-Viking. These graves, whether on a remote Estonian beach or the windswept Scottish Isles, bring us closer to the real Vikings, not just as warriors, but as people with hopes, loyalties, and a deep connection to the seas that carried them to both triumph and tragedy. How do we know so much about the Vikings' genetic diversity and their far-reaching migrations? The answer lies in cutting-edge genetic technology, which has transformed the way we study ancient history. By analyzing DNA extracted from ancient skeletons, scientists are uncovering secrets that were buried for over a thousand years. One of the biggest breakthroughs came from a technique called whole genome sequencing. By sequencing the DNA of 442 Viking skeletons found at sites across Europe and Greenland, researchers could compare their genomes to those of modern populations. This allowed them to trace the origins, movements, 
and even physical traits of the Vikings with unprecedented precision. A tool called Twigstats has further revolutionized this field. This advanced statistical method helps researchers build detailed genetic family trees, allowing them to distinguish between closely related populations that might look similar at first glance. For example, using Twigstats, scientists could identify subtle differences between the Vikings of Norway, Denmark, and Sweden, showing how each group had its own distinct migration patterns. The results were nothing short of astonishing. They revealed that people from Central and Southern Europe had migrated to Scandinavia just before and during the Viking Age, bringing new genetic influences with them. These findings challenged the long-standing notion that the Viking Age was a purely Scandinavian phenomenon. Instead, it appears that the Viking world was shaped by a dynamic exchange of people and ideas from across Europe and beyond. One fascinating discovery involved a man buried on the Swedish island of Åland during the late Iron Age. His DNA showed clear ancestry from Central Europe, but isotopic analysis of his teeth revealed he had grown up locally in Scandinavia. This suggests that his family had migrated north, becoming part of the Viking culture. The technology also uncovered details about the Vikings' physical traits. While today's Scandinavians are known for their blonde hair and blue eyes, DNA evidence shows that many Vikings actually had dark hair and eyes. These traits likely came from the genetic mixing that occurred as people moved into Scandinavia from other parts of Europe. Even more surprising is what these genetic techniques have revealed about the Vikings' interactions with the outside world. Viking DNA has been found in regions as far east as Ukraine and as far west as England. In Britain, mass graves from the Viking Age show a blend of Scandinavian and local ancestry, confirming that the Vikings didn't just raid. They settled and integrated into the societies they encountered. The insights gained from these genetic studies are not just rewriting our understanding of the Viking Age, they are also laying the groundwork for future research. As scientists analyze more ancient genomes, they are piecing together a richer, more detailed picture of how human populations have moved and interacted throughout history. Through DNA, the Vikings are speaking to us across the centuries, revealing a story of adventure, adaptation, and diversity that is far more complex and far more human than we ever imagined. The Vikings may have disappeared as a distinct culture over a thousand years ago, but their legacy lives on, not just in history books, but in the DNA of modern populations across Europe and beyond. Their genetic imprint is a testament to their expansive journeys and the connections they forged with the peoples they encountered. One of the most fascinating revelations from genetic studies is just how much Viking ancestry persists today. For instance, many people in northern England carry significant traces of Scandinavian DNA, a legacy of the Danish Vikings who settled in the region during the Danelaw era. In Ireland, Norwegian Viking ancestry can still be found, particularly in areas where Norse settlers established major trading hubs. Even in places like Ukraine and Russia, remnants of Swedish Viking DNA point to the long-standing influence of the Varangian traders. But Viking influence wasn't just genetic, it was cultural. As the Vikings settled in new lands, they brought with them innovations that shaped the societies they joined. For example, their advanced shipbuilding techniques revolutionized seafaring in the medieval world, while their legal traditions laid the groundwork for governance in places like Iceland. In the British Isles, the Vikings left their mark on language. Words like sky, window, and knife have their origins in Old Norse. Even place names, anything ending in by or thorp. Bear witness to the Vikings' lasting impact. In Scotland, Viking settlers integrated with local populations, creating a hybrid culture that blended Norse and Celtic traditions. But what about the Vikings who stayed in Scandinavia? The genetic studies show that even within their homeland, the Vikings were transformed by their interactions with the outside world. When some Vikings returned to Scandinavia after years abroad, they brought with them not just new genetic traits but also new ideas, technologies, and cultural practices. Over time, this exchange helped shape the modern Scandinavian identity. Modern tools like the Viking Index allow individuals to trace their own ancestry back to the Viking Age. By comparing DNA to ancient Viking genomes, people can uncover connections to specific regions and even specific Viking groups. It's a powerful reminder that the past is never as distant as it seems, and that the Viking story is still being written, one genetic discovery at a time. Culturally, the Viking Age continues to capture the imagination. From epic sagas to blockbuster TV shows, the image of the Viking remains a powerful symbol of adventure, 
resilience, and exploration. But thanks to genetic research, we now know that the real Vikings were even more fascinating than the legends. They were diverse, adaptable, and deeply interconnected with the world around them. The Vikings may be gone, but their legacy endures. In the languages we speak, the places we live, and even in the very DNA that makes us who we are. The story of the Vikings is one that continues to evolve, thanks to the groundbreaking insights provided by modern genetic research. Far from the stereotypes of blonde-haired, blue-eyed warriors, the real Vikings were a diverse and dynamic people, shaped by migrations, cultural exchanges, and the interconnectedness of the medieval world. Through the study of ancient DNA, we've learned that Viking identity was about more than just ancestry. It was a blend of genetics, culture, and adaptability. They weren't an isolated group of Norse raiders but a network of explorers, settlers, and traders who left their mark on nearly every corner of Europe and beyond. From the shores of Greenland to the rivers of Russia, their influence continues to resonate, even in the DNA of people living today. But perhaps the most remarkable revelation is how this genetic research reminds us of the shared humanity of the past. The Vikings' journeys, their triumphs, and their struggles were driven by the same desires that have shaped human history for millennia, the quest for opportunity, connection, and survival. As we look to the future, the study of Viking DNA opens the door to even more discoveries. Who knows what other secrets are waiting to be uncovered beneath the sands of history? What other stories are hidden in the strands of ancient DNA? For now, what we've learned reshapes our understanding of the Viking Age, transforming it from a tale of conquest into a story of diversity, resilience, and innovation. It's a reminder that history is not static but a living, breathing narrative that continues to unfold with every new discovery. So, what do you think? Has this exploration of Viking DNA changed the way you see these legendary figures? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into history, science, and the stories that connect us all.